The way you should think of this formula is 2 pi integral from a to b of the height of a typical shell times the radius of a typical shell. Okay, let's see how that works. Going back to the original uh, example that we were looking at, for which we have seen that it would be cumbersome to use the cross-section method. So now we're looking at a typical shell. In fact, for our purpose, we don't really need to take any thickness for a typical shell. We look at um, the plane region that we want to rotate about a vertical line, and we look at the sections by x equal constant. So we have this line segment x equal constant, and we're going to rotate it not around the x-axis, but around the y-axis, resulting in a cylinder like that. And we can think of it as a typical cylindrical shell, even though here it has no thickness. But So what we need, according to this formula, is the height and radius of our shell. The height here is 3x minus x squared, because if I'm sitting at uh, a certain value x, then the height is the value of the function at x, in other words, 3x minus x squared. So that's my height. And the radius of the shell is the distance between the axis of revolution and my line segment that I'm rotating. In other words, in this case, it is 1 plus x, because there is distance 1 from the line x equal negative 1 to the line x equal 0, and distance x from the line x equal 0 to my line segment x equal constant. Therefore, I obtain, for the volume, the integral formula 2 pi integral from 0 to 3 of 3x minus x squared, which was my height, multiplied by x plus 1, which was my radius. Let me say a word about the uh, bound of integration. here. We integrate from 0 to 3 because the plane region that we are rotating, its projection on the x-axis is, uh, is a segment 0, 3 on the x-axis. So the range of x values that are relevant to this plane region is from 0 to 3. Okay, we have integral of a product. We know that that just doesn't quite work uh, in general in the sense that we don't have a formula for product, so we just get rid of the product by multiplying things through before we integrate. So we obtain 3x squared plus 3x minus x cubed minus x squared. Simplifying, we get negative x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x. We integrate that from 0 to 3 and then multiply by 2 pi. So here in the picture I moved my typical shell on the actual solid of revolution. So now to complete the calculation, all we need is an antiderivative, which is easy to find. Antiderivative of x cubed is x to the fourth over 4, of 2x squared is 2 thirds x cubed, and of 3x is 3 half x squared. We evaluate this function between 0 and 3. The value at 0 is going to be 0. Uh, plugging things in for 3, this is what we obtain. Um, the three terms in the parentheses, we can put them with the same common denominator 12, and then um, we get something that is uh, multiple of 3. After simplification, we obtain 45 pi over 2. Now turn to the next video to see more examples.